Hi guys, Jay here. I'm just going to do a quick video on how to calibrate your live scope. In this case, I have the LV32. Um, it's not a permanently mounted unit, uh, so it's very easy to do because it's mobile. I'm using an office chair or a computer chair, and you need to be able to spin the unit. Uh, so right now I have it mounted in my Summit shuttle in the Summit bag. I have the transducer sitting right here, vertically up, and it's out of the case, so if you have a cover, you may get magnetic interference, uh, but it's very simple to do. I run the Summit uh, shuttle and pull in the winter, and in the summer I use Arc Lab. So right now I have the Arc Lab attachment because it is and will be in the boat. Okay, so it's very easy. Um, I've seen a lot of questions on this, and hopefully you find this helpful, including you, Paul. So when calibrating, you go to Menu. You can see if it's calibrated actually by the compass that's up here. Um, for stabilization and calibration. Uh, so you hit menu, go to sonar setup, go to installation, go to calibrate compass, and it says here co compass calibration succeeded. As I'd done this before, we'll calibrate it again because you can do it multiple times. So you click calibrate, turn the boat 1.5 times. In this case, the boat is the chair. Uh, in either direction, turn quickly, but keep the boat level and steady while turning. If, if mounted to a trolling motor, the trolling motor should be off and deployed. When ready, begin. So, this is how easy it is. Sitting in a chair, transducer straight up, begin. You can see I'm almost done. Magnetic environment, I got 69% score, spin quality 86. So that's not too bad. We can try again. I'll place the transducer here now in front. Go back to calibrate compass, calibrate, begin, start spinning. As you can see, the progress is working. Look at my, my score now. Magnetic environment, 84%. Spin quality, 91%. I hope you found this helpful for calibrating your live scope. Um, thanks for watching.